It's my mother's birthday. I want to pay homage today, even though she's not here anymore. Look at this beautiful sunrise just starting to happen here in Udaipur. Mother, I love you. Mama, te amo. You're gone, but not forgotten. Gone from this material existence that you had. Where you are, I don't know. I love you, Mama. I do. You were a great mother and you still are a great mother even though you are not here physically anymore. My brother Dennis and I remember you fondly and lovingly. Lovingly and fondly. Thank you for everything you gave us. And you were always there for us as kids and teenagers. Even as adults too. When you had no more responsibility towards us. So I wanted to begin this video with paying homage to my mother and uh, I'll give you the intro here to Udaipur but there'll be more videos to come about Udaipur and different things but today with the long little music intro it's about two minutes and something uh, Udaipur the city of lakes as you can see right there or the white city and the lake is over there as well this is Lake Pichola here and the palace is right over there where the Indian flag is hoisted all the way up and flying with the wind and wow where I'm staying here I'll make a video about this at some other time but not today please honor your mothers even if you don't get along with them, for whatever reasons, honor them, always. Here's a little more that you can see. That's towards the hotel there that's in the middle of the lake or in that part of the lake. The palace is to the left. Udaipur is beautiful. Let's keep going. So I'm gonna be keeping this video on a happy-go-lucky uh, topic in terms of my mom. My mom, uh, today's December 14th. Today she would have been turning 72. I really wanted to bring her here to India and she was she wanted to come and one of the places I wanted to bring her to was here Udaipur and uh, I'm gonna keep it on the happy go lucky because she was a great mom and I'm gonna tell stories about what she did for my brother and I when we were kids and teenagers and all that so let's keep going just crossed through one of the gates here I think there's the Chanpol gate so uh, yeah 72 my mom would have been turning to 72 today and I, I was constantly telling her while I was living with her, taking care of her during her illness and all back in Colombia, South America, in Envigado, Colombia, how great India is and how it saved my life, especially how great India is, the people, the spiritual energy and everything. And I really wanted her to come and she wanted to come. I wanted to bring her to Rishikesh, Udaipur, you know, I wanted to take her to the Ayurvedic sessions that I got there in Rishikesh. So, it's a beautiful morning here to remember my mother in a positive way and his Pichola Lake. And it's about 9 a.m. almost or something like that. Mom, I love you. Like I said, 
already at the beginning. So, and my brother loves mom too. We totally know, feel, and see what a great mother she was. Oh, that reminds me, I gotta get a haircut today later on after I make this video and all. So, um, yeah, what am I trying to do? I'm not scripting anything here. Um, this is the first video I make in about a week, even though the last upload was about three days ago or four, whatever, whenever it comes out. Look at the beautiful mural artwork here. So mom, yeah, you know, my mom, she was born and raised in Envigado, Colombia, in South America, the country of Colombia. My father's from Colombia too. He's still alive. They were divorced. So, um, yeah, uh, my mom met my dad because my dad hit on my mom when he was working at a company there, a textile company called Coltejer in Envigado. And one day he was walking by because my mom was a white woman, Colombian white woman, blonde hair, blue eyes, sometimes they turn green. And uh, he hit on her because she was uh, there and he was four, he, he was, he is four years older than mom was. So they became boyfriend and girlfriend, all that good stuff. Then uh, a while later, he got a work visa for Canada back in 1969 and 1970. So he left and a year later he went back. He went to Canada, Toronto. He passed through New York. Back in those days, Colombians didn't have a problem getting a tourist visa or a work visa with Canada or the US. So my dad, he was able to, good morning, to go and work. And a year later, he went back to Envigado, Colombia, and he married my mom. They got married and everything. And then he took mom to Canada. And then later on, I was conceived in Canada. And six months into mom's pregnancy, she went to her best friend's funeral in New York City because her, her best friend from Colombia, from Envigado, she had been living in... Uh, in uh, New York City, in Queens, in Elmhurst, and she was dating. Uh, her friend was dating an American firefighter, and all that good stuff. So uh, she went alone with uh, me in the stomach, in the womb, and she decided not to go back to Toronto. And my dad was like, "What? What are you talking about?" And she forced my dad's hand and he went down to New York and I was born in New York three months later in New York City, in Queens, New York. Even though I grew up in South Carolina because my parents left New York City when I was a month old because my dad didn't like it at that time and all that stuff. People here doing their morning rituals. Some people are taking wedding photos, pre-wedding photos. It's very famous here during the month of December. Best time to visit Udaipur or the state of Rajasthan or Indian in general. If you don't want to be shish kebab by the heat is the month of December and January even maybe November and all of that so let's go to a little place over there I don't know how long this video is gonna be but anyhow I was telling I told my mom many times how strong the spiritual energy in India was the temples and all the mosques and how great the people were and that I was treated so well the first time I came in 2019. And she was happy to hear those things. And I asked my mom for her blessings. I asked her about a year before she died because she passed away this past June, 2023. And I said, mom, will you give me your blessings to go to India, my second visit, because I want to go on that spiritual journey again and for some healing in Rishikesh. And mom said, yes, you have my blessings, son. And I said, for you, mom? For real? Really? She said, yes. These are the, some of the things that I would see with mom on TV, on YouTube, the videos by YouTube travel vloggers about temples and places to visit. Our mom, mom and I saw videos about India by vloggers such as Harry Jaggard, World Nomad, Gabriel Traveler amongst others trying to remember who else but those guys in general and 
even one by a couple by she walking where she just walks but doesn't talk and but she's from delhi the other three are foreigners two are american and one is british Jay Sri Hanuman Ji. I was I wanted mom to experience this to come with me to the temples and everything and give our obeisances, you know, pay our respects, see these beautiful things like those birds, those pigeons flying around, these temples, these mandirs, seeing the Nandi and Shiva and all the other ones, Radha Krishna, the Jains, the Buddhist things, the Muslim things, and all. It was just something I wanted to experience with mom. Wow so beautiful to see all those birds flying around and the uh, south, uh, the uh, Brahmins taking a holy bath there in the lake <coughs> this is Gong, Gangur Ghat as I said people are doing pre-wedding photos shoots and everything because they come to get married here especially in the month of December it's a very auspicious month lucky month I don't know why exactly but maybe part of it is because of the weather so I'll be giving more details about these places and everything in upcoming videos but today is just about mom and I'm showing you this beautiful stuff and I hope you like it because it's honoring our mothers honor your mothers whether they are alive or dead especially if they are alive and I did honor my mom I told her how much I loved her and I gave her 20 months of my life because I'm a I live alone I travel alone and everything but I, I stopped my travels in Mexico I was living in Mexico for six months uh, I didn't go back to Mexico when uh, I decided to stay with mom because she was sick and everything and I said mom do you want me to stay with you until you recover from first she was she had a broken she had a fractured arm that she fell a week before I arrived back in Colombia to visit surprise visit and I asked mom do you want me to stay with you while you recover from your uh, fractured shoulder she said yes but then because she was a diabetic type 2 uh, she fell ill because she didn't really take care of her diabetes, but that's life. That's nothing we can do about that now. It's done. What's done is done. So I stayed with her, and then she fell ill. Uh, she got polyneuro uh, polyneuro polyneuropathy, polyneuropathy, or whatever you call it. And her nerves in her legs and arms became swollen, and that impeded the proper functioning and walking. She lost strength, mobility, and all. And uh, I stayed with her and she just got worse and we got a day nurse to take care of her while I was working online teaching because I couldn't do both it just was not possible with students because I'm a teacher and uh, well beautiful mom excellent honor your mothers and our mom was great so I'm gonna start uh, like making this as short as possible because I know some of you don't want to hear too much or whatever in 20 minutes is a maximum video for any type of content in general so I'll continue with that in just a moment. A future mother right there. Future bride and a future husband. Just stopping for a nice cup of chai here. Well, before I continue with the story, they're making breakfast there. Samosas and dal cachori. They're stuffing it right now with all the potato stuffing with green chilies and all. You know, the gentleman is making some other stuff here. And the Jagadish, Jagadish, Jagadish temple is right over there. So we're here at the entrance to the Jagdish temple and maybe I'll finish the rest of the video off in there so this is like maybe the one of the most visited areas of Udaipur and the city palace is right up the street so mom was a great mother to my brother and I she was special because when we were kids in South Carolina, I mean, she was always there for us. She was a housewife. She always cooked for us, made sure we had home cooked meals, made with a lot of love, total love, whole lot of love, like the Led Zeppelin song. And um, she was special. She never abandoned us. Never went out to party and stuff like that and left us alone at home, nothing like that. I'm not doing daily vlogs anymore, just in case you guys are asking yourself, in case you didn't see the last video or the last couple of videos where I was talking that I was just not gonna do daily up uploads anymore because I'm tired and I need to rest. I'm not Gabriel Traveler. My hat goes off to him. He does basically daily vlogs uh, or Mr. Beast, he's a beast. 
I mean, that guy's crazy, but he's doing what he loves. I'm not uh, these daily vloggers that keep that crunching out the content or, cr or, or you know, whatever, churning out the content. Back to mom. So, yeah, so let's, a couple of fond memories so that we can keep this short. Mom was great, she was cool, I mean, she was always happy, like always wanting to celebrate things, make sure our birthdays were special. And she would celebrate our birthdays together because my brother and I are born in the same month, month of May. We're just like eight days apart, two years and eight days apart. Two years and eight days, I'm older than my brother. And my mom, our mother always celebrated our birthdays together until we were like about 12 and 10. I was 12 and he was 10, something like that, and then or 13 and 11, and that was it. And in South Carolina, where we grew up until I was 12 and my brother was 10, you know, once she took us to, I think it was a Burger King and had a birthday there. But the other times, basically, we're at home in the backyard of the apartment complex out there in South Carolina with all our little friends over and big gold cake for both of us. And she always dresses up. She used to dress us up in the same clothing, you know, only because we're two years apart. And whatever people did and get us confused as twins, maybe fraternal twins, one taller than the other, but not identical twins. But she always dressed us up uh, in the same clothing for a lot of occasions and whatever. That was just the way mom was. And probably I'm just thinking about this now, so maybe I'll include some photos that I can get of mom with us and everything. Like when we were growing up as kids, so you can see who my mom was. Not any of the videos that I made of her when she was sick or everything because just don't want to remember remember her that way but just when she was healthy and happy and fun and having fun so mom was special she threw those special birthday parties for us that's the jagdish temple i'm not going in yet because i'm very tired these days and i'm just recovering but anyhow and she also decorated the apartment very nicely when Halloween came along when we were living in South Carolina. She made sure that the Halloween decorations were up, the candy, the music, everything. Christmas also, the Christmas decorations. She always made sure that we had a special Christmas and all that with the Christmas tree. I'll get back in a moment with this. So mom made Christmas special. I was just talking to a man I met here at Depeche. He's, a, he's an aspiring tour guide. He's putting together some plans. And we were talking about how important our mothers are. And he said, my mother, I, was, I tell my mother, I will always be there for you. He told me this, that he tells his mom, if I'm doing something, I'll drop it if she needs me and I'll go and help her out because I would not be here without my mother. So beautiful to know these things. They're having a puja right now inside the temple. Mom made everything beautiful. Even, uh, you know, Easter, with the Easter eggs and everything, taking us to the uh, parks uh, in South Carolina, even in New York, when we were teenagers, uh, mom would try to, you know, get us to meet the daughters of her friends, because I was a very shy guy, and my brother wasn't, but I was. And it was cool that, you know, she would try to, you know, play matchmaker in a sense, so we could, uh, so I could, at least me, because I was such a shy guy, and I remember she would bring her, invite her friends over, her, her female friends with their daughters, and then introduce me and my brother to them. They, yeah, 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 yeah. But I didn't take advantage of that because I was such a shy guy, but my brother did. So he would talk to the girls. Me, I was just too much of a shy guy. But mom was great. And so many things. And then taking us when we were in New York, or even in South Carolina, she would take us to the mall, to the mall. Uh, and we used to love going to the malls or Showbiz Pizza Place or Chuck E. Cheese on a Saturday or Friday or even when we were kids going to the uh, skating rink where we would go skating on a Friday night or Saturday night until like about 1am and we were kids 10 years old, 9 years old, 8 years old and playing those video games going to the arcades and she was she was always there for us so I'm remembering my mom in so many ways and she was always special picking us up from school when she had to if we didn't have the school bus working for us that day in South Carolina. Yeah, getting us good clothing. She always made us feel loved, welcomed, and appreciated. And that's all I have to say about mom. I love my mom. I'm just not going to make this video so long, so I hope you enjoyed it. 
and I hope you are relishing your mothers and if they're gone I hope you remember your mothers fondly I do my mom was great and she gave me her blessings to come to beautiful India and to meet beautiful people here in India and keep living my life my dream here in incredible India and please remember India is a beautiful place because of the people and the spirituality until next time Jai Mataji Jai my mother's name was Gloria Jai Gloria Stella Geraldo You know I forgot to say mom was always mom was always cheering us on cheering on my brother and I telling us we could go for it and she never ever made us feel like crap or whatever she she always made us feel appreciated and all that and you know when I told mom I want to do this she was like yeah go for it she would never be an impediment or a roadblock she never even told us you have to stay and you and you have to take care of me in your old age she never instilled that sense of you have to take care of me no and when I went to live with mom and take care of her I did it out of my out of my loving heart that I loved her and appreciated her so much that I wanted to be able to give her back at least some part of my life and she took it she accepted but she never told my brother and I you have to take me in you have to take me in I'm leaving alone she was a very independent woman she was so independent such a strong woman I love mom such a great friend in general and she supported me with my dream of doing YouTube more like more constant in here in India and everything and even when I went to college and I didn't know what I wanted to study she didn't yak at me or complain she's just like try to find your way that's it don't worry about it son she was always inspiring even with her independent way I guess I take that from my mom I'm such an independent person love being alone not lonely because I don't feel lonely I love myself so I don't feel lonely so thanks mom wanted to say she was always cheering us on she was a cheerleader making wanted us to be the best we could Thanks, Mom. Thanks. Again. I mean, my, my mother, she went to our football games when we played American football. She went to cheer us on a couple of times with our dad. And you know, it was cool. And when we were kids, she took us to the Boy Scout, Cub Scout stuff took us to the magic shops. I remember my brother wanted to learn magic tricks and she took us to his magic trick school in South Carolina. She used to, so many things I'm just remembering now as I'm trying to end this video, but I keep going with something more because I'm just remembering how cool, how great mom was. She was just top notch, grade A. Wow, such a mom. If there were more moms out there like that, hello, you know, she made food with so much love. It's the cook that makes the food great, not the food itself. And the, the cook that invests all that love into the food, and mom was that person. Ah, oh, mama.